Our today's tutorial is about how to make a cute hair tie for a small girl. We need bright buttons of different colors, hair ties, felt. Choose five bright buttons. Place them close to one another so that they form a square. You'd better hold the buttons in place with the tape. Make a hair tie pattern. You can use any piece of paper for that. Trim that out carefully. Choose felt. Deep green looks great. Place the pattern on the felt and outline. Black pens work well. You should see the outline. Trim out with the scissors. Choose a thread to decorate the buttons. We use cotton thread, but any other will work. Thread a button. All five buttons are ready. Trim the thread and give it a twist to hide the ends. Glue a button to the felt. Place a button on each corner petal. Press the button to the foundation to help it hold better. One button is left. Place it on top and glue in the center. Choose a hair tie and glue it to the bottom. Use a small piece of satin ribbon. Squeeze a drop of glue onto the ribbon and fix. Make sure the hair tie doesn't get glued to the base. Such bright hair ties will make a perfect gift for small girls. In this project, we'll share a few ideas of a nautical style and sea animal shaped small hair clips. Let's make gross grain ribbon hair clips first. Cut a wide striped ribbon in half across the length to get two thin parts. Measure out a red piece of the same length. And a white one. Melt the edges with a lighter. Attach the end of the white ribbon to the middle of the piece to form a loop. Use a hot glue gun. Repeat for the other side. Make the same red detail. Add two blue striped elements to get four of the same details of three different colors. Attach the red ribbon to the white one crisscross. Add a blue detail on top horizontally. Wrap the clip with a small red ribbon piece to shape a bow. Hot glue the ends to the back. Attach a nautical blue ribbon to the back across the white detail. Crisscross another of the same piece. Snip off the ends at an angle. Make another nautical bow in the same way. Attach a clip back. Let's make a sailboat hair clip. Cut out a small hull-shaped striped ribbon piece. Make a red satin sail. Fray check carefully. A thin royal blue ribbon will be the mast. Attach it to the sail edge. Cut out a white triangle for the second sail. Melt the edges as well. Add the hot glue carefully across the red sail edge to attach the white one. Make a V-cut to shape a flag from a red ribbon piece. Cut off the excess. Be careful to melt the edges. Hot glue the details together. Add a white ribbon piece to the back. Attach an alligator clip back. These splendid nautical style small hair clips will decorate a hairstyle and match a summer solid color or striped suitor dress. 
Now, let's make felt sea animal shaped hair clips. As usual for the material, start with making a template. Draw a drop shaped whale outline on cardboard. Sketch a starfish. It looks like a flower. Cut out the silhouettes. Trace the whale template on a folded in half piece of dark blue felt. Cut out the outline. Join the two felt whales. Fasten off the thread near the edge. Sew down across the outline, leaving a hole for stuffing. Take a tuft of polyester fiber to fill the whale. Complete the stitch. Cut off the thread. Paint a funny face of an eye and smile using black and silver fabric outliner. Make a light blue tail and fin. Hot glue the details. Cut out a whale shaped back. Adhere And now, make a starfish hair clip. Trace the template on red felt. Cut it out. Sew down across the edge. Stuff with polyester and finish stitching. Attach the felt to the back and cut out the outline. Paint eyes and a nose with the silver outliner. Add light green drops to the points. Attach metal clip backs. Our fabulous sea animal shaped hair accessories are ready. Every girl will have great fun wearing such an amusing felt starfish and whale. The cool nautical style small hair clips will match both adults and kids. In this tutorial, we'll show how to decorate ordinary hair grips with glittering stars. We'll need thick felt of a neutral shade, glitter, paper for a pattern, and blank hair grips. Draw a few five-pointed stars of different size. Three will be enough. Cut them out. Place the patterns on the felt and trace. Cut it out. Don't be afraid to leave the pencil trace. It will be covered afterwards. Done! Add multi-purpose glue to the grip pad. Attach the star. Glue the other details. Done! Cover the star with white glue. Use a brush. Let's add some magic. Sprinkle the star with glitter. Pour from the cup onto the grip, then dip the edges. The first one is ready. Add much glue to another star. Let's make the silver grip. And the last one. This one will be Snow White. Cool! This is it! The sparkling star grips will complete the fairy magic costume on a themed party or masquerade. Let's make an ice cream cone shaped clamp. We'll need felt of pink and tangerine colors, pink tulle, 
cardstock, ribbon, outliner fabric paint, and a metal clip back. Draw a template on cardboard, outline a cone with a slightly rounded top. Place the cutout on tangerine felt and trace. Cut out the outline. Make a pink felt square. Hot glue it to the cone. Cut down the corners. Hot glue tool crumpling it up in your hands to make a cloud shaped topping. Cut off the excess. Add hot glue to the tool and the pink felt. Attach the pink topping to the ice cream. Imitate a waffle pattern using brown outliner paint. Hot glue a ribbon to shape two curls. Cut off the excess. Attach the detail to the back side of the cone. Attach a clip back. This blended ice cream cone with a fine pink topping can be worn as a brooch as well as a hair clamp. Let's make another hair accessory in a shape of an amusing blue owl. We'll need cardboard, felt of chocolate and blue colors, polka dot ribbon, a clip back, and two white buttons. Take a piece of cardstock, draw a stylized owl head shape template. Cut it out. Place the template on the blue felt and trace. Cut it out. Fasten off the thread a bit beyond the edge. Sew around the outline with a running stitch. Try to make the seam even to look neat. Add button eyes. Sew them down with the same thread. Make the stitch horizontal to imitate short-sighted owl eyes. Fasten off the thread on the back side. Cut it off. Stitch the second eye in the same way. Cut out a small chocolate felt triangle for a beak. Add two oval legs. Attach the legs to the back side. Make a ribbon curl. Cut off the excess. Make another curl the wrong side out. Place the details crisscross. Attach the cross detail to the back side of the owl. Use a hot glue gun. Attach a clip back on top of the ribbons. This amusing blue owl will decorate your hairstyle and cheer you up on a rainy day. Now, let's make one more funny hair clamp shaped as a cheerful jellyfish. We'll need cardboard, felt of coral color, ribbons, an alligator clip back, and outliner fabric paints. Draw a cut bulb shaped template on cardboard. Cut it out. Trace on coral felt. Cut it out. Take a needle with red thread. Sew across the edge. Cut off the excess thread. We've got a jellyfish face. Take wavy ribbons of pink and purple colors. Cut them out into equal parts. Attach to the back side of the jellyfish. Alternate the pink and purple ribbons. Take thin satin ribbons. Cut off two pieces of the same length. Hot glue the end to form a loop.
Make another of the same pale pink detail. Attach both loops to the back side of the clamp. Take outliner paints. Outline a nose, eyes, and eyelashes black. Make rosy cheeks with a coral outliner. Decorate the face with blue dots on top and yellow drops on the bottom. Attach an alligator clip as a finishing touch. The cute coral jellyfish will match the amusing blue owl to decorate hair braids. If you feel sad, just wear these funny felt hair clamps and be in a good mood all day long. In this video, we'll show how to make a subtle pale pink fabric flower hairband. We'll need seed beads of a pale pink shade, pearl beads of a lilac pink shade, a wide elastic band, lace of the same color as of the seed beads, and thin fabric that is the same as the lace shade. Start with the petals. Take the fabric and cut out a small circle. Melt the edges. Make another petal in the same way, but of a different size. Prepare a couple of dozen similar details of various size. Add a drop of hot glue to the petal edge and press the sides over. Repeat for the other details. Start shaping a flower. Take the smallest petals. Hot glue four pieces overlapping to form the center of the rose flower. Add several more small details attaching them to the bottom. Continue to attach the details in the same way, increasing the petal size. Hot glue the lace end into the rose center. Gather the lace, fastening the pleats with the hot glue to make the core of the flower. Cut off the excess and attach the end. Attach the rest of the lace between the petals. Embellish the flower with the seed beads. Hot glue them into the core and to the petal edges. Take big beads and attach them to the center and edges. Take the elastic band of the length a bit less than your head circumference. Hot glue the ends. Add the glue to the fabric circle. Attach the detail to the bottom of the flower. Add enough glue to the elastic end juncture. Attach the rose to the band. Cool! This gorgeous hair decoration will add some romance to your image. Today, we'll show how to make funny hair accessories for a little girl. To make the first clip, we'll need two thin satin ribbons of cranberry rose and purple colors, five bright colored pencils, a small piece of dense red felt, a metal hair clip back, and sandpaper. Lay a cutting board to protect the surface. Cut out a pencil with a craft knife. Separate about one third off the sharp end. Be careful to keep the lead unbroken. Take a piece of sandpaper to smooth the cut end. 
cut out another pencil to make it of the same length as the first detail. Repeat the step for all of the colored pencils. Take felt and cut out a small square. Hot glue a pencil to the felt base. Press over well. Continue gluing the pencils. Place them from warm to cool colors of the color range. Cut off the excess. Let's embellish the clip. Add hot glue to the ribbon and fold it in half to form a loop. Cut off the excess. Attach the ribbon loops to the back side. Hot glue the clip back. The unusual colored pencil hair clip will become a favorite hair accessory of a little girl as it is bright and colorful. To make the second accessory, we'll need unspun wool of crimson color, light turquoise felt, and silk crimson cord. Take the same hair clip back you used for the first barrette. We'll wet the felt clip, so prepare a half and half soap water solution. Cut out a small piece of wool. Roll between your palms to shape a ball. Dip the wool into the solution. Wring out the excess water. Continue rolling in hand, smoothing the ball. Soak the wool detail into the soap water from time to time. We'll get a ball like this. Take a little more wool, wrap it around the ball, and roll again. Dip the ball into the mixture and continue rolling. The red cherry should be firm, smooth, and round shaped. Make other wool details in the same way. We should get three equal cherries. Cut out small felt leaves. Add a drop of hot glue to the middle and press the sides. Repeat for the other leaves. Hot glue the cherries to the clip back. Attach a cord piece to the center of a cherry. Cut off the excess. Make the same stems on the other fruit. Fasten the leaves on the cherries, placing them to look natural. Tie the cords to shape a bunch. Cut off the excess strings. The cute cherry hair clip will help to create a smart hairstyle. It can also be worn as a brooch on a girl's outfit. The gorgeous hair clips will become favorite hair accessories of a little princess. We look forward to your comments. Give your thumbs up if you like the hair clip ideas. Join us on the social links and be sure to subscribe to our channel to create stunning accessories and jewelries quickly and easily.